how's it going? And today I just wanted to show you how to easily draw an arrow onto a video or a marker just to indicate something on the screen, maybe a project you're editing. So let's say I'm working on this video here and I want to point to this rifle in the sky or maybe I want to draw attention to this door or something like that. So all I'd have to do is come into Media Generator and get a solid color like this and then just drag it over the area. I might want to hit M, maybe two, to mark my location where I am so it's clear. And then what I can do is if I click on the pan and crop tool, I can go into the mask and I come up here to the anchor creation tool and the just best as I can, try to draw a nice arrow here. So arrows are pretty easy because you can just draw it with points. Just go point, 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 point. I mean, this is not the best arrow in the world, but yeah, something like that. And then you just hit there and you can close it up. And now this arrow is resizable and can be moved. So, oops, I meant to, let me hit Control Z to undo that point. So if you accidentally make a point, you can just hit the creation tool and delete that point. Now, once you're done, just click off of it and then you won't accidentally be making any points. And then if you go here and you go select all, you'll have this rotation ability and then you have the ability to, to scale the arrow as well like that and I can simply drag it over here and maybe I want to rotate it you'll see that rotation thing and then I can turn it and maybe make it look a little bit better and just go like that and that's it and then just click away and you're done and you can go and repeat that process if you want to add additional arrows and things like that. And then if you wanted to add text, let's say, that's even easier to do. You just come into Media Generator, go to Text, come here, and then you can just write, um, <laughs> I don't know, this is the rifle or something like that. And this is really easy to do. And if we click here on this icon, this is now resizable. This didn't always used to be resizable. And we can make it smaller like that. And then we can come up here and hit restore to 100%. And then I can just click and drag this and put that right, right there like that. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care. Have a great day. And I will talk to you next time.